Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So we're gonna start straight into the 4 hour time frame for Bitcoin because we are still getting rejected from the EMA ribbons and also from several moving averages in the 4 hour and we still have negative money flow. So things are not looking very good here for Bitcoin at least for the short term that we maybe could have here a nice breakout to the upside because in the lower time frames we are still looking bearish, we are still in a downtrend and we are still waiting here for a clear breakout to the upside or to the downside from this falling wedge that we have in the four hour and also in the daily time frame. So even though we got now a confirmed buy signal in the four hour time frame, I think that we are just coming maybe up here to retest this $33,700 area. But if we're gonna confirm it again as a resistance, I'm afraid that we here could easily drop down again. And we still have the support here at around 30K. But I think if here we are touching again the 30K area, the likelihood is very high that we could even see a breakout to the downside and therefore see the bearish scenario playing out that Bitcoin could easily fall down towards 20k if we're not seeing that breakout to the upside very soon here so we want to see a breakout to the upside in order to have that rally up towards 50k otherwise i think that we're gonna see the bearish scenario playing out without any kind of rally towards uh, 50k and here in the daily you can also see that currently we're still getting rejected from the ema ribbons and also from all the moving averages and uh, if here we're gonna see a breakout to the downside from this falling wedge, then I think we are heading towards 20K immediately. But if here we are able to push higher and start to close daily candles above $34,000, the likelihood is high that we're gonna see that rally into the 200 daily moving average at 44K and potentially even a bit higher. But until then, of course, we still have to wait for a clear breakout. We are in theory still trading sideways here. And if we go over into the lines chart, you can see it more clearer that we have this falling wedge right now forming. And uh, why I think that the breakout is imminent from this falling wedge is also because if we have a look into the RSI, you can see that we are still getting rejected from this red trend line that is coming down since uh, January this year. And so far we didn't broke it to the upside. So if the RSI is able to go above this red trend line, I think that the likelihood is here that we could have a nice breakout to the upside from this bullish pattern, so from this falling wedge. But if we're gonna see a breakout to the downside, so below the support that we are also creating here in the RSI, then I think we're gonna see the bearish scenario playing out that we're gonna fall down and therefore we most likely also see a breakout to the downside from this uh, falling wedge. And uh, we can do also a measurement here where we potentially could be heading to if we're gonna see a breakout to the downside. Let's assume that we're gonna break out within the next coming days. Then the target would be roughly here at around $18,000, which is also coinciding with the future gaps that we have on the CME chart down towards $18,500. So that's why it is possible that we maybe could visit the 20K area without any rally towards 50K. But if here we could have a breakout to the upside, then this would take us towards the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level at around $48,000. And this is also where more or less the 200 daily moving average is lining up and of course also the 20 weekly moving average. So I still believe that it's more likely that we could see here a nice rally into the 50K area and then we're gonna definitely see if we are entering right now into a bear market or if we have to chance to continue the bull run without any further correction and this was already at the bottom here at around 30K. But uh, if here we're gonna break out to the downside in the daily time frame, I think that we first gonna see 20K before we can resume our bull run. So everything is gonna be depending once Bitcoin is uh, breaking out here to the upside or to the downside uh, from this falling wedge that we are in and also from the RSI because as you can see, we are at the end of this wedge and we definitely gonna see in the next coming days a clear breakout to the upside or to the downside and that will tell us in which direction we are moving to next and the same thing goes of course also for ethereum 
We had here an initial breakout to the upside, but we got rejected at this uh, Fibonacci retracement level, which is previously also a very strong resistance and support. So that's why right now we are confirming this $2,400 as a very strong resistance level. And uh, if Ethereum is able to at least close daily candles above the 200 daily moving average, so let's say above $2,000, where also we had the previous resistance trend line, which now should be acting as a new support, then we have good chances to see follow through to the upside. But if here we're gonna start to close daily candles below the 200 daily moving average, I think that also here Ethereum will crash down and we could revisit here this $1,700 area, the previous support from this uh, support trend trend line and I think it's also very likely that we could revisit those levels because we have a confirmed sell signal in the daily time frame and money flow is still negative so things are starting to look bearish here for Ethereum as well and uh, of course everything is going to be depending what Bitcoin is doing so if Bitcoin is going to get that breakout to the upside from that falling wedge I think also here Ethereum will profit a lot and also here we're going to see big fireworks to the upside and therefore also we could see here follow through above this resistance area and the next target would be up here to reach these uh, $2,700 and another bullish thing why we could get a nice breakout to the upside is of course still here because of the dxy as you can see we are trading again below this fibonacci retracement level of 92 dollars and 40 cents this gave us previously resistance then support and now again a potential resistance also because we are trading right now again below the nine daily moving average and i think here we could be heading now towards the 20 daily moving average and maybe even lower towards the bottom of the ema ribbons at around 90 dollars because we had several bearish divergences as you can see we have lower highs in the rsi but higher highs in the price action so we have a bearish divergence which is confirmed and also we have negative money flow so that's why i still don't believe in this rally of the dxy and i still expect that we're gonna return into a downtrend or at least come back down towards 91 dollars again and that could be of course very bullish for the crypto and stock market and that is of course also what we are seeing over on nasdaq even even though we are facing here some problems to break above this Fibonacci extension level of $14,800, I still remain with the opinion that Nasdaq is gonna go above this price level and continue to create new all-time highs because for now, even though yesterday we had that big dump below the nine daily moving average, we successfully closed above the nine daily moving average and also today we are trading above of it. So here for Nasdaq, even if we would see the price dropping again down towards the 20 daily moving average or down towards the bottom of the EMA ribbons at $14,000, I still remain bullish that this could be just a pullback and that we're gonna see new all-time highs very soon and continuation of our bull run because here money flow is still extremely good and even with some bearish divergences we are still pumping towards new all-time highs and that of course uh, means that we have very strong buying power here for Nasdaq and whenever Nasdaq is pumping whenever the stock market is pumping that usually is also a very good sign for Bitcoin that we could see the same thing happening also here so let's hope that here we're gonna see a nice breakout to the upside and everything is gonna be depending in my opinion here on the daily time frame if we can break out to the upside from this falling wedge and of course where the RSI is going to break out because right now we are testing again this support and if we're gonna get a nice bounce here and then have a breakout to the upside above this red resistance trend line we could be facing some very bullish days and weeks incoming so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also make sure to check out all my referral links that you find in the video description because uh, with some of them you will get some extra money with your first deposit or purchase especially for bybit femex coinbase and swissborg there you get a lot of bonus if you sign up with my links and also check out Bitscap. This is an all-in-one trading platform where you can connect all your exchanges to one place and run trading bots on them. If you're interested, then check out the video tutorial that is popping up at the end of this video and also sign up with my link. Like this, you will get the pro plan for 14 days for free. And if you're profitable, you can upgrade to a monthly plan, which is starting for only $19 a month. So you should get this money very easily and quickly 
back and of course also check out our great Discord trading chat. The link to our trading chat is also in the video description. So make sure to join it. And also this is the place where you can get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. A small donation is needed. So send me here a private message or get directly here on YouTube a membership. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.